Quiet time. Doesn't tell us a hole in the first ten. Yeah, I mean, it's week one. We expected to make mistakes. We didn't expect to make that many mistakes. You know, Iowa came on and played a good game. They, uh, you know, I thought, I thought whoever was going to make the most mistakes in this game was going to lose it, and obviously it was us. They got a couple bounces their way, a couple interceptions we possibly could have had, a ball off the net. But, uh, you know, the good thing is, they can only go up from here. The first possession they had, came close to the reception, they had a couple mm-hmm. third down conversions that they converted. That really changed the game, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you hear it all the time. Football's a game of inches. It really is, and, you know, I thought JC was an inch, an inch away from taking it to the house, and it just it didn't turn out. The kid made a catch. You know, we had him 13, we had third and 15, I believe, the second possession, and, and, and they caught a big one on us for a touchdown, so. Little things we can work on. The good thing is we're going to get better, and uh, you know we'll get ready for Spokane next week. Coach, can you put in, put into to words what the off season was like for you guys, and just to have an opportunity to play? Uh, play you know, it, it's just, it was it was a it was a trying off season for for the people that were in the office. Um, you know, that's no excuse though. We, I thought we put together a good football team. I still believe we have a really good football team. We just got to start the gel. We got a lot of new faces here, and. Uh, you know, the off season's the off season. We're, we're very fortunate to have an owner right now that's that's positive, bringing good things to the team, and he's enthusiastic. Unfortunately, we couldn't get him a win for his first game, but uh, you know, there's a lot more games ahead of us. Now, Bob, granted, there's no moral victories at at this point, but just having a team on this field week one, do you feel that's a positive going forward? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's whenever you're whenever you're able to put a field uh, a team out there playing, especially with everything that went on, it's very positive, but, you know, that's, that's something we can't, it's in the past right now. We have a lot of good football players out here, and we just finished week one. That's, that's how I look at it right now. Now we have to get ready for week two and, and get better in that week. So um, the off season's the off season's behind us, and we're moving forward into the season now. Question for Dre. Um, you guys were able to salvage a touchdown? at the end of the first half, and then you caught, you started the third quarter with a touchdown catch. How were you guys feeling at that point? Um, I mean, at that point, we was feeling, you know, played a horrible first half, <clears throat> and we just had to close it out, right? And then coming out, offense knew we had to go down and score, you know, so we can get back in this game, you know, and that's what we came out and did. Um, you know. It's frustrating, though, to see the defense was just unable to stop them. I mean, it was frustrated all the way around. You know, I just can't can't pinpoint the defense. I mean, offense played bad. You know, at times special teams played horrible at times, and 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 defense gave up some balls. So I mean, it's, it's just not the defense. It's not the offense. Not special teams. It's everyone. You know, so it's just frustrating to see how good of a team that we have, and and just not you know doing what we have to do. Greg, what, what types of uh, adjustments do you feel like you guys need to make offense? Um, I mean, right now we you know. You know, at the quarterback position, we're young. You know, um, so I just doing a great job. You know, I mean, we just we just have to gel together. You know, we'll go watch film. You know, the biggest thing is going from game one to game two. You know, but we have to get in the film room and we have to make the adjustments. You know, to 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 get the offense going. You know, the offense going, defense will be going, special teams going. We just gotta we just gotta work as a team all the way around. No pointing the finger at anyone. You know, it's a team game, and we just. As a whole, as a team, just got to get it together. Hey, Reggie, it seems like on a couple of those deep balls that could have made a difference just kind of went through the hands. Is that just something that's part of week one, kind of getting used to it? Because I know there were a couple of deep balls that you guys had just couldn't quite convert. And, you know, it's, it's just no excuse for it, you know, especially the one I drop. I mean, we end up scoring on that position, on that possession, but at the same time, that could be a momentum breaker. You know, so, I mean, I'm a receiver, and I get, get paid to catch the ball, you know, so whether – it's week one or week 18, you know, I mean, those balls just have to be caught, you know, and, and I mean, you just got to do it. But a young quarterback, you have to, you know, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Even if it was a, a ball that was three yards over my head, I mean, I got to die and make that play, you know, so the comp- quarterback can make sure you have confidence. Coach, how would you evaluate the play of your new quarterback tonight? You know, I thought, he, I thought he played well. I thought he made the right decisions at some point. I thought he just threw some great balls. You know, we had, we had a few drops. You know, the two interceptions that he thrown, I, I'm going to put that on the offensive line. It was pressure. He, he was getting hit as he was throwing the ball. Um, but for the most part, I, I thought he did a nice job. And he's just going to continue to get better. You know, 
you always going to have some struggles with a young quarterback like that, and uh, you know, hopefully he'll get better in, in a week too. But you know, his work ethic and his film ethic, he, he'll be in the he'll be in there working hard. Uh, just a quick question for Mr. Calvin. Uh, I wanted to ask you then, in the first half. Uh, a couple big plays by Iowa. It seemed like you know a couple DBs fell you know fell down, and that kind of allowed the guy to complete the routes easily. You know, what do you think happened there? Just a the play. It seems like it kind of undermined you guys a bit. Uh, well, our main thing uh, this week was trying to stay close to the receivers. Um, you know, not give them too much room to get open. Uh, and it seemed like we were just doing that a little too much in the first half. Uh, we, you know, stumbling over feet. You know, just trying to stay on the hip pocket. But uh, you know, towards the second half, we kind of you know backed up a little bit. You know, just to, you know make sure our feet were straight. But you know, we just we just had some some bad breaks. You know, we couldn't make plays on the ball. You know, just a bad defensive effort all night. Why oh, was number seven so hard to defend? <laughs> no comment. You got to love Jordan, how many adjustments did you have to make during the course of the week, especially with Vic coming in so late as he did? Um, I really wouldn't say an adjustment. You know, um, Vic is Vic Hall. You know, what, what adjustment do you need to make? You know, besides getting you know real playing with playing with him, you know, but other than that. Is they call it. He's going to play football. You know, just come in and play football, play together, and that's it. I really would have said it was an adjustment. Coach, you mentioned uh, bad bounces. I mean, that seems like, in particular, that kick that went off the upright. I mean, is there any mistake you guys made on that, or is that just a bad bounce that you can't really help? No, I mean, you know, for the first one they caught us, we were, we were in alert, alert return figure, and they were going to try to do an onside kick late. This, uh, Play the possession game like in football with 50 seconds left, and uh, you know the kid just hit a good ball, hit it off the iron, and uh, you know it just came out five yards out past the returner, and they were able to get a nice bounce. So it just it just happened to be at that certain time again. Yeah, it was a good kick by the kid, and they were able to get the ball. It's it's just the way winning football is. It's, that's what makes this game great. Did you like the way Carson was able to kind of fight back uh, from the early deficit and his first <coughs> yeah, start? Yeah, and I thought he was. Well, maybe a little nervous in that first possession, you know, getting two balls batted down at the line of scrimmage inside the red zone, we just can't have it. You've got you to be able to get the ball to our receiver. We can't have him batted down. Um, but I thought after that first possession, I thought he settled in. I thought he threw some great balls tonight. And, uh, you know, I think things look positive for Carson and our offense. I think we're going to get better from this week. I know the guys are frustrated and upset right now. And they should be. If, you know, they're, they're athletes and they're, and they're football players. If you're not upset after a loss, then why are you doing it? And, and the whole locker room was was, uh, was excited to get out to practice next week. I guess your, your theme this year is redemption. Uh, can you sum up uh, what your goals are this year. Get back to your class. You know, yeah, obviously, you know, redemption is a new start with a new owner. Uh, trying to build this organization back up to where it once was, and obviously to get back into the playoffs. But uh, you know, right now we're not looking that far ahead. Right now, right now we're looking for that first one and. and Hopefully we'll come against Spokane next week. It's another good football team with, uh, with guys that get after at least some defensive side of it, veteran quarterback with some good receivers. So we have a lot of work to do this week. And, uh, you know, I think we have a good bunch of character guys in the locker room that want to get better and, and want to win that game next week. Hey, Coach, in terms of getting Reggie active, it seems like it took a while to get, you know, kind of Reggie ball. Um, obviously such a great playmaker. How much do you kind of want to work on just getting him active early in those games to so make those explosions? You know, it's... That's just a credit to Reggie because he's so great at receiver position, and I mean, he could be sitting here or not. People are scared of Reggie Gray. They're going to play two. They're going to play one underneath and one above him. And it's just Reggie getting open and Reggie making plays out there. Uh, you know, they tried to take. I'm sure take Reggie out of the game early, and we had to we had to move the ball around to Nate and Rodney, and I thought they did a nice job. And then we were able to find Reggie on some deep balls. So, you know, we're going to expect that, and Reggie understands that. And you know, we made some adjustments to get him open in the second half and then later in the second quarter, and. Uh, you know, we'll continue on it, but uh, again, that's just game time stuff and and practice stuff. Reggie, did you see a lot of doubles there? Um, they had they had a game plan. Um, they had a game plan to try to bang me in the middle, you know, take me out, and but like Coach said, you know, Rodney and Nate, they they did a great job, and I know, you know, my 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 goal is to win. You know, they try to take me away, I, I can care less. You know, as long as we moving the ball and getting touchdown, you know. Unfortunately, at times we didn't do that, but I mean, we we just gonna get better, you know. Whether they put two on me, three on me, I I can care less, you know. If we win a game, that's all I care about. Coach, could you explain uh, 
decision to spike the ball on third down before halftime rather than taking the time out there? Um, just a mental mistake by our offense coordinator. You know, first year coach, not understanding it. He was expecting me to call a timeout, and he, he went up to kill, kill, kill. Uh, just an early season mistake from a, from a young coach who I thought did a great job in his first game. I, thought, I, I don't know the stats yet, but I thought uh, he called a good game. You know, unfortunately, you know, ball didn't bounce your way tonight. You know, it's early in the season. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. You guys hear it all the time. I mean, I got, I got to, I got to take, take, take the bad credit for that as well. I mean, regardless of that situation, even though we got three timeouts, whatever the case may be, you know, forty some seconds. I, I'm close to the wall. I can just go out of bounds, and we don't even have this, this discussion. You know, so you know, I got to take some of that as well.